Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of x and y if we have x square minus y square is equals to 11 and we solve this problem for all the uh, positive integral values of x and y. So you remember this condition is that our x and y should must be a positive integers. Uh, it means that we solve this problem for only positive integer values of x and y. I hope so you like this method. But if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And now here the very first thing we are going to do is first you see that this is the very nice algebraic formula. So we write it as x square minus y square is equals to x minus y times of x plus y is equals to 11. So here we need to focus in the right hand side and you see here we have in the right hand side we have 11 but in the left hand side we have two factors are multiplied by each other. So here we need to find any two positive integers whose product becomes 11. So we have uh, the possibilities are uh, 1 times of 11 is equals to 11 and 11 times of 1 is also equals to 11. So here we have uh, there are two possible possibilities uh, in which we get here uh, the answer is 11. Uh, so now we uh, divide uh, this uh, equation into the two cases. The first case is uh, here we need to in, in the first case we compare these two factors with uh, these two numbers okay so when you compare these two factors with 1 and 11 it will be written as x minus y is equals to 1 and uh, the other one is x plus y is equals to 11 so here we call this is our equation number 1 and this is our equation number 2 and and now here uh, uh, in um, we move uh, firstly find the values of x and y from first case and then we move towards the second case. So uh, here we need to solve these two equations. Uh, for this we just add equation number one and equation number two. When we add these two equations, we will get here. You see that this is negative y and this is positive y are cancelled out by each other. And here we have these are the two same values. So x plus x is equals to 2 times of x and these two are cancelled out by each other and here we have 1 plus 11 is equals to 12. So here first we find uh, the positive integer values of x. For this uh, we divide both of the sides by 2. So when we divide by 2 it will be written as this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we will get here x is equals to here we cancelled this term this is 2 times of 6 becomes 12 so from here we easily get the value of x is equals to 6 and you see here uh, 6 with a positive integer and now here for the values of y uh, we use uh, this value in equation number 1 so we put this value in 1 so this is our equation number 1 when you put this 6 here it will be written as uh, x uh, the value of x is so first we can copy down it by number one here it is uh, in this form now we put the value of x that is 6 minus y is equals to 1 this implies that 6 minus 1 is equals to y so here we easily get the value of y is equals to plus 5 and uh, this is the our first integer solution of the given equation and that is uh, x is equals to 6 and y is equals to 5. So this is the first uh, solution of the given equation. And now here uh, we need uh, to move toward the second case and here we compare these two factors with these two values. Uh, so uh, here we write it as uh, this is the our second case uh, and in second case when we compare the values it will be written as x minus y is equals to 11 and x plus y is equals to 1. We call this is equation number 3 and this is our equation number 4. So here again we get the values of x and y. For this we uh, again add equation number 3 and equation number 4. When we add these two equations again you see here this is negative and positive y are gone and we get here x plus x becomes 2x 11 plus 1 becomes 12. 
and now we again divide it by 2 to get the value of y so we divide by 2 and here we get the value of x is equals to these are cancelled out by each other and here we get this is 2 times of 6 becomes 12 so x is equals to 6 uh, be the value of x which we get here from second case and now here for the value of y we put this value of x in equation number 3 so when you put this in equation number 3 it will be written as 6 minus y is equals to 11 so for the values of y we move this minus y to the right hand side and we move 11 to the left hand side and it will become 6 minus 11 is equals to y and here we easily get the value of y is equals to minus 5 so you see here minus 5 is not belongs to positive integer so uh, here uh, we just uh, rejected this case okay uh, we rejected this case because we can just solve this problem for only positive integer values but this is this value of y is not positive integer so that's why uh, we will just rejected this case and finally we have only one solution of the given equation is x y is equals to 6 and 5 and in the next step we need to verify this solution and we check that is the satisfied our given question statement or not so for this uh, in order to verification of this value of x and y we need to copy down given question statement here it is x square minus y square equals to 11 and here we substitute the above both values of x and y into the left hand side and we check its behavior uh, so uh, the value of x is 6 it will become 6 square minus the value of y is 5 square is equals to 11 and here we have this is the 6 square becomes 36 minus this is the 5 square becomes 25 is equals to 11 and now here we need to subtract these two values so you see here 6 minus 5 becomes 1 3 minus 2 is also becomes 1 so we get here 11 is equals to 11 so this shows that the value of x is equals to 6 and 5 is satisfied over this given question statement so uh, this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos